Hello everyone. Hi, say hi again Pearl. So um, I've just been to Jo Malone. I've tried the English Fields collection and now I'm going to give you my and Pearl's review. Um, but she doesn't like being up so bye. There we go. Good girl. Good girl. Um, so yes, um, I went into the store. I tried them all um, and I did make a purchase. Um, so I'm going to talk you through what I got, why I got it, and what I think. So to start with, here is the bag, which is fabulous. Um, I've got to say, this has probably been my favourite um, collection. Um, and the reason why is that I don't think they've overcomplicated things. <coughs> Thank you, Pearl. I agree. Um, they've not overcomplicated it. They've keeping it really fresh, clean, sweet, um, and and just refreshing. Um, I remember the Bloomsbury set last year was really um, different, um, so it's kind of hit or miss. But this collection this year um, is definitely good. So paper, some paper, Pearl. Go on then. Um, first of all, I got a gift, um, which is really nice. Um, it's a just because gift um, from the wonderful ladies in the Cardiff boutique. And it is a 30 mil basil and neroli, uh, which is great because I've probably got about 10 mils left of my bottle. Um, and I do really like this scent. I think it's one of my uh, staple ones now especially coming into spring summer it's going to be perfect but that was really really nice um, to receive that I was going to ask for some samples but that's a lot better um, so here's the box now um, this was the last Red roses box that they had so they asked if I wanted it because uh, um, I do love collecting my boxes and I'll do a vlog one time of all the different boxes I have um, but I thought yes this will be great for my collection um, so I'm gonna go and open this now um, and show you which ones I purchased so let's just take the lid off and the reveal all of them yes thank you I know Pearl um, I got every single one uh, because I just like them all. I really did like them all. I like them some more than others, but I'll go through each one. Um, but I'm super excited for this collection. Thank you, Pearl. Keep the noise down. So um, now I'm not an expert. I'm not um, brilliant at um, top notes and the heart notes and all of this sort of thing. I just know how it makes me feel and if I like that scent. Um, so bear with me. The first one is the Primrose and Rye. So let's see, where's the Primrose? Primrose and Rye is this one here. The bottles, I really like um, the stone at the bottom and, and then the uh, finish of it. Um, I think they've gone clean and classic again um, with the hint of something different, um, which is just what I and many people like. Um, but the Primrose and Rye, I did have the sticks here. Where are they? Here they are. Excuse my head. Um, so if they're in order, I can't even remember what order they are now. Um, but yes, so Primrose and Rye. So I'm going to have to do the weirdest thing and do it by finger because um, I've, I'm covered at the moment in different scents. Because I went and tried them all on um, in different areas and then I went for a walk around town and kept sniffing myself and I couldn't really pick out any I didn't like. So, so yeah, the Primrose and Rye, it's... Yeah, I can't even describe it. So I'm going by what they say um, is rolling fields dotted with primroses swaying softly on the spring breeze, warmed by golden corn, uh, brightened with mimosa on a 
addictive base of rye and vanilla, filled with sunshine, vivid, glowing, addictive. Um, yes, they certainly like to pick their words, but the vanilla is really good. Um, I don't really get too much of, it feels weird. I don't even know where I've sprayed it now. Um, the mimosa, it's quite soft for me, but the vanilla is there. The rye, I think it just gives it a, um, yeah, it's soft and sweet. Um, and I really like it. Um, so that is primrose and rye um, in the brown, brown stone. Next we'll go with, I'll save my favourite till last. So the green wheat and meadow sweet. Uh, where's that one? Let's, so let's try another finger. There we go. So this is um, another lovely bottle. Um, lighter stone, um, kind of a minty green or eggshell green. I don't know. But um, yes, I really like this one. It's, uh, let me read. Um, An English field at dawn, full of joys of spring, filled with young green wheat, crisp and fresh, balanced with a zesty twist of grapefruit, mingled with soft white notes of meadow sweet, pretty, fresh and powdery. Um, slightly powdery, yeah. I get that. Um, it is just a lot more zesty, actually, I can. I can get the grapefruit in there, so I think that would layer well with the grapefruit um, to bring it out a bit. Um, there are layering options and things like that. And when you've got the, these collections, I'm not really a fan of layering, um, only because I feel that this is, the, the collections, the limited edition collections are a one-off, so, and I think you should enjoy that scent um but you do what you want to do really if you want to zest it up or um richer richen en enrichen it um go ahead but the green wheat um green wheat and meadow sweet so another fresh is yeah fruity powdery one um these are all very light scents um but not too light um yeah so that's that then we've got the oat and corn flower so this is the blue and gray stone it's my favorite bottle um it looks beautiful um let's see what they say about this one so this is wholesome oats gathered from the field fit for a hearty feast warm and delicious enlivened by vivid blue corn flowers and a hint of hazelnut complemented by elegant vetiver base, mouth-watering, warm and sensual. We all like a bit of sensual. Um, let's try a little bit on here. Yes, I love this one, yeah. Yeah, this is somewhere else. Um, yeah, this is a, the most livelier one. Um, oh, oi, shush! Oh, she always wants her say. Uh, come on, darling, have that. Come on. Uh, shush. Shh. Shh. Yes. So, this is lively. It's... Um, it's set up differently. Pearl, stop it. Honestly, sometimes she doesn't shut up. Um, yeah, so let's put this down here. And come here. Oh, oh sorry, head again. Right, you okay? You okay? Good. Um, yeah, so that one's lively. It's lovely. Um, it's one of my favourites because it is um, fresher and stronger than the others. And it's, um, yeah, I can't wait to start wearing this one. And with the spring and summer coming along, it's going to be a lovely scent to wear. Done? Okay, good. Um, next is poppy and barley. So this is the pink and stone. Um, I do love these bottles. Not a fan of pink, but let's see. Oh, Pearl, 
Oh, stop it. <laughs> so we have rich red poppies dancing in the wind, violet flowers alive with colour, fruity with black currant, cocooned by barley and, and bran, softened with powdery notes of white musk, lively, cheerful and inviting. Um, I don't think I got all of that from this one. Let's, let's see. Yeah, this is more of a feminine scent to me. It's, it's, uh, it's rich. It's, uh, yeah, I, yeah, musky, I get that. Not sure, black currant, maybe. It is fruity, and I get a bit of violet in there. Um, so, it's definitely, I think this is probably the, the one I, yeah, I still like it. That's the problem. I like them all and I'd wear them all. So it's hard to say, well, say that I don't, wouldn't wear one because I would. Um, I just think this one's quite feminine. So yeah, I have to pick and choose when to wear this one. Um, and then finally, if you haven't already guessed, my favourite is the honey and crocus, whatever the crocus is. Um, so it's a beigey bottle, um, but it's, I, I just like it. Straight away I could smell almond in this one and the honey, obviously. Um, it's really rich when you first spray it, um, and it's sweet. It's really sweet. The almond and macaroon candle, it reminds me of that, but not, yeah, it's the, the, it's... Oh, it's so nice. It's like marzipan. It's, um, oh, it's yummy. And it settles. It's quite powdery, um, but it's, it's so, so nice when it settles. And it's really different to every other scent that I've got. Um, I know. So this is my favourite. Um, what does it say about this one? Because I don't know what crocus, crocus, whatever it is. Mouth-watering honey, fresh from the beehive, blended with bright bloom of croc crocuses. What is that? Someone comment and tell me what that is. And English lavender, sweetened with a dash of almond milk, rich, comforting and scrumptious. Um, yeah, um, oh, I love this one. Absolutely love it. Um, yeah, I know a, a lot of people have all got their different favourites. Um, and everybody's skin's different, so everything settles differently. Um, but I definitely, this is my favourite one. Um, yeah, so I got all of them, um, which is very naughty, but I know they'll last me a long time and uh, totally be worth it. So that's the complete collection. Um, yeah. Uh, this is the first time in any of their, um, what are they called? Oh my God, I can't speak today. It's Sunday, I haven't shaved, I'm being lazy. Um, but uh, limited edition collection, that's right. So this is the first time I've ever bought the entire collection. Normally I get one or two that I like, but these, I just like them all. I can imagine wearing them all and I can't wait to wear them, yay. Um, so a couple of other things to discuss while I'm here. Um, I know it's a little bit long, but um, yes, um, everyone went a bit crazy with the Grab It game um, a few days ago. Um, it's incredibly exciting when that comes out, but a lot of things um, have gone wrong this time. Um, yeah, so the website went mental. Um, I was charged four times. The delivery is going to two different places. Um, it's still not been dispatched. Um, so, and I know a lot of people have experienced the same things. Um, yeah, so it was exciting, but also frustrating. Um, but it's still worth it. If you're gonna get a free 100 ml bottle of cologne, um, it's worth it. Um, they'll sort it out. Customer service has always been excellent. Um, just converse with them and explain and they'll put it right. Um, and, you know, things go wrong sometimes. 
but hey, we're getting free stuff, hurrah! Um, so that's really good. Um, but it was, yeah, I always love it when they bring that out. And last year it was uh, mega. And then when everyone found out it was coming back, um, I think it went even worse. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to get my stuff when it does arrive, if it arrives, that sort of thing. Um, yeah, so that's exciting. Um, other things to discuss is, uh, what was it? Um, yes, layering stuff. So um, I went a couple of weeks ago to Joe Malone and done a kind of freshen up on layering and things like that um, to get me back into mixing things or um, expanding my collection. Because uh, I find sometimes I just tend to wear the same stuff. Um, especially in winter because I wear like the intense colognes and stuff like that. Um, but um, yeah, so Earl Grey came slap bang back onto the top of my list. Um, I absolutely love that scent and um, so I purchased that, um, which is should be in the post. Uh, the Mimosa and Cardamom I've not worn for a very long time so that's popped back onto the list. And kind of the classics, 154. Honestly, I forgot that I didn't even have that. Like, it's been that long since I've worn it. Um, so I purchased that one as well. Um, just because I keep... For keep for Sorry, honestly. She's such an attention seeker. Um, yeah, so there's a few that I've not worn in a long time. Um, and then there's some that I'm wearing to get rid of. Um, well, not to get rid of, but I don't know. I don't know. The, um, what was the white one? Um, Magnolia one. Um, I just find that, meh. So I spritz that one. I don't know what else to wear. Um, I've still got some of the green bottles um, with, oh, what's it called? Geranium. Um, is it? I'll be back one sec. back hi so these are the ones that um are from the other collections um that i kind of wear and then yeah star magnolia so i just there's still loads in there because i just never want i never pick it up um but there's that one um i've got half of the nasturgeon and clover this is an odd one it's so different, so I can't wait for spring and summer to try it again. Um, I just think it just doesn't work at the moment, and I don't know what to layer it with. Any suggestions for nasturgeum and clover layering, comment below. Um, and the sorrel and lemon thyme. So I really like this one until people started saying I smelt like lemon pledge, or that I smelt like um, lemon cleaning stuff, um, which annoyed me because that's what then I could smell um, so I tried to layer this one um, but again I just there's so many different ones I have that I don't really know um, what to do anymore um, and then finally my favorite from this collection was this the Bloomsbury was this the Bloomsbury collection yes the, so tobacco and mandarin I absolutely love this one um, and this is my second bottle, so I've just kind of started on that one. And then the leather and artis Ar artemisia. I don't know words. Um, so I really like this one. Um, but again, I've only gone halfway through the bottle in a year because I just don't always pick them up, which is good. Um, but then I end up with all these bottles everywhere that I just don't know what to do with which sounds a bit weird, but um, yeah. So yeah, layering, I can't wait for spring and summer so I can start mixing it up um, with Earl Greys, the 154s, the Mimosas, because I have grapefruit, I've got amber and lavender. Um, I've, got, I've got a lot and, um, and I find myself just spraying the same ones at the moment, which are the intense ones. Um, so, 
definitely can't wait for spring to come, um, especially this weather. It's, yeah, we had an earthquake yesterday in Cardiff. Um, I know. Um, didn't really notice anything until it was posted everywhere and I thought uh, I thought it was a bus had gone past um, but apparently no it was an earthquake so I survived hooray um, yes so that's about it for me it's been a long video I'm sorry but yeah the English Fields collection um, definitely worth definitely worth trying them out because they are gorgeous remember they are soft they are um, light fragrances. Um, I know a lot of people, I uh, know, I keep saying that, but some people, um, myself included, will spray a scent and then they can't really smell it later on in the day and um, sometimes that's the strength but other times it's you're, you get used to that scent um, and you don't really smell it on yourself but others do. Um, so run up to strangers and ask if you smell nice. Um, but um yeah these scents will i don't know if the strength will be there for an all day wear um but but i think people will still be able to smell you and you'll still smell beautiful um and fresh and yeah um i hope you've all had a lovely sunday um thank you for watching um i'll be back soon and take care lots of love bye